Yo, what up? I'm doing another gear video. My name is Paul, if you don't know me. I got some new gear. It's in this box. I'm gonna open it. This is, um, the OK Low Stepper. It's the first module from a new company. I know the guy that makes them. I mean, I don't know him well or anything. But I know him, and I hope he does well. So yeah, I'm just making this because I want somebody to make a demo of this. So we can see what it does. And what does it do? According to the panel, it's a dual phase modulation LFO, which means it's an LFO. Uh, let me put it in the case. I'm going to need to make room for it. Okay, let's figure out what these knobs do. Let's plug it into rings. CV out. Frequency modulation. Okay, so that's a tri uh, like ramp wave, down ramp. That's a triangle. That's a square. Okay, so morph is changing from square to ramp to triangle. Rate is going from slow to fast. And we have different ranges of that on the switch. It can go really fast. And I can probably CV control the rate with these jacks. So it's got FM potential. That's good. Let's go back to slow. Let's go to ramp. And then reverse start and end. Do we get an up ramp? Yes. So if we're doing a square, then the start and end will sort of control the pulse width. You know what I mean? And we have two of these, obviously. Let's plug in the other one. Position. Let's try. Oh yeah. Okay, okay. Interesting sounds. Why don't I keep this pattern going, but just change up the sound a little bit. Let's try, okay, we'll go back to just using the left channel, and let's see what these other signals do. So here's end of cycle. I'm on the string mode now. Let's go end of cycle into strum. What if we used um, CV out of the second channel to control the rate of the first channel? Now it's got kind of a shuffle pattern to it. So we can probably do some cool stuff with um, self-patching this. Like end of cycle from channel B into reset of channel A. Now it's a pretty cool, like, pattern generator, like, triggers. Oh yeah. That's nice. Okay, let's simplify this again. Let's modulate start and end, see what kind of shapes we get. Interesting. Uh, structure.
Okay, okay. So that's interesting. Now I'm gonna plug a clock into the sync input. Let's see. <laughs> All right. That's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um let me try pushing it harder. Like can we get it how fast can it go? Like can it follow a pitch? Like what if I just plug in a square wave? Um I'll plug that into reset maybe. And then I'll just listen to the shape that comes out. I like the color scheme they have going on this one. Is this working? Do I have to... Oh yeah, flip that to fast. Now that controls sort of wave shape. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's definitely tracking my oscillator. How fast does it go? About that fast. It's got some fun aliasing up here. Hear that? Sequence the master oscillator. Oh, cool. Yeah, these are nice, like, pulse width kind of synky sounds. Let's go start. Modulate. Totally different sounds if you plug your uh, sequenced square wave into sync or reset. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I did not expect to hear that. Okay, I'm going to put effects on that. Oh my god, beautiful. Well, I'm glad I was recording. That's dope. Um, what else should we try? What if we run, like, more complex audio into it? Let's run... Let's run this sample into it. Because why not? Play. Ooh, okay. I like modulating rate. Let's just use the other half of it. Play. <laughs> what if I just plug this sequence straight into into that? Like the same sequence I was just plugging into that oscillator? I, I'll try this on here without the au normal audio going in. Just speed this up. Sequence into rate. Yeah, you know what? I don't think that's in tune. <laughs> Call me crazy. So it's cool, like, as a sort of distortion. I'm just sort of plugging in, like, <laughs> modular sounding noises. 
So let, let me just play you the original sample. Wow, that one goes wide ranging. So let's see, sync in, CB out, go. <laughs> Cool. How about this? Reset. Uh, I think sync is better for this. I have an idea. The guy who made this, when he gave it to me, he said, like, stress test it, like, push it hard. See what you can get out of it. Try to break it, because it's on version 1.0, as far as I know. And, um, okay, so I'm running the audio into sync and also into rate. Okay, that's nice. Very special dial-up kind of noises here. I'm loving this as like an audio thing. I didn't realize like, you know, I thought it was supposed to be for modulation and stuff. But it sounds so good at audio. <laughs> so I might actually just run it into this filter. Let's just use channel two to control the filter. Okay, that's pretty weird. Here's a spooky techno noise that you can make with this. Basically, it's just these both running at audio rate into a ring modulator, and I'm filtering that and modulating it. And then if you change these around, Let's do the square wave thing again. Square into sync. This will be worth it. Here I'm gonna put a fast square wave that's being sequenced. Wow, 
Alright, so uh, closing thoughts, I guess. This thing, um, it's pretty, pretty fucking cool. It's really all. <laughs> that's it. Like, you know, it's an LFO. It makes shapes. Um, I'm looking at the website. It's telling me it's um, two seventy-five Canadian, fun Canadian dollars. Two hundred seventy-five of those for one of these um how big is it it's 10 hp 10 so um okay 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 okay